So hi here everyone, welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to clip the world population data for for any countries. So to clip the world population data for any country, uh, first need to import the country's boundary layer into Earth Engine. To import our country boundary layer into Earth Engine, we have defined a variable called countries equals to double collection United States of Department of State large scale international boundary polygon simple 2017 so to uh, clip the specific country from the world uh, world country boundary layer we define a variable called india equals to countries dot filter countries dot filter double a dot filter dot eq country now and output the layer name as india to add this layer into earth engine we have defined the map dot add layer india refers to this variable and we set a default, we said this curly bracket refers to the default visualization parameter and default color. So an output uh, layer as India. So now to uh, next is to import the world uh, population data into Earth Engine, I have defined a variable that is the world population data. You can refer to this website worldpop.org. So you can access those data in this site and to import the world population data into earth engine i have defined a variable called world pop equals to double a dot image collection we defined a variable called world pop equals to double a dot image collection world pop uh, this refer we can access the data world population data through this code using this code the next is we defined a variable called variable mean mean population equals to world pop dot reduce double e dot reduce mean so this particular code be used to refer is because the world population data has a data availability data available from 2000 to 2021 so in order to arrive a particular mean value of data that is to acquire uh, from uh, a mean value for mean value of data from 2000 to 2021 world population data we are using the reducer mean so to arrive at mean value of the population data so you define a variable called mean population equals to world pop dot reduce double e dot reduce dot mean to arrive the mean world population that is the mean population data the next is we set uh, we need to set our default uh, visualization parameter for our layer for that i defined a variable called which for this world pop that is refers to uh, visualization world uh, population so we define a variable with world pop so we are specifically using the band called population uh, mean so there is a variety of band that is available in this data with that is variety of data that is available in this image collection we are specifically using the population data for uh, this for this uh, for this video for this video so we are using a population data for this video with a reset of a minimum value of zero to a maximum value of 50 and the color palettes so these are the various codes that is used to define the different colors for each of this uh, unique uh, values so each of this unique value has its own specific color to it so you can refer to this website called the color brewer 2.0 where each of the color has its own specific codes for example this orange color refers to this code fc9272 and similarly to refer the screen color we have uh, this code called this code called uh, 2CA25F. So I've used this color palette scheme to uh, show the high and low population uh, population density in our layer. The so next is to add and center our layer. I've defined a layer called map dot add layer. So mean population dot clip by our specific uh, country boundary and uh, visualization. This is a visualization parameter. This world pop so refers to this one and similarly the mean population refers to our this uh, this variable where we arrive the mean population uh, for our uh, image and output the layer as the world pop india so you can uh, refer you can use any other countries so for this video i'm using this specific country and to center this uh, center this layer i've defined map dot center object uh, referring to our country with a zoom level of 5 now let me run this code go to the option called run script click run script so 
Now let me show you the layer. Now we can able to see that this is our study area. So this is a world population data layer that has been uh, added into our Earth engine. So now we can able to see that. Let me show you our region certain phases. So you can able to clearly visualize that this particular color indicates a very high populated, uh, high population uh, density compared to other places has a very low population. Let me show you other places too. So now let us view uh, towards a city called Chennai. So you can able to uh, clearly able to view that this is uh, this color indicates a very high population density compared to other region has a very low population. And uh, let me show you the, the city. Let me turn this layer off. Turn to satellite mode. So you can able to clearly view that. So this is our uh, city called Chennai. So it, is, it has a very high population density. Uh, so this data clearly shows uh, the population density of this region. Similarly, let me show you other places too. So from the from here, you can able to clearly view that the most populated regions are being uh, highlighted in this specific color. Let me see this uh, region too. What is the name of this region? So this region, uh, this is a city uh, region called Bangalore. Is a very high populated area. It's clearly shown in our data, world population data. So let me uh, show you this region too. So this is uh, called New Delhi. So it is also has a very high population density. Let me turn this layer off. So we can clearly able to view that there is a lot of urban urban uh, urbanization that is you can able to view. We'll ask a very high rate of settlements. So we can clearly view that towards in northeast we have very high settlement rates being observed, and also towards south we have a high settlement rates. So in this video I have shown you how to import the country's boundary layer into Earth Engine and how to import the world population data into Earth Engine and how to clip the world population data for our specific country or any country and how to set a visualization parameter for a layer and how to add and center our layer. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.